What's happened? How can you finish any work in this house? Start with a candle spark. Oh no, now I'll miss Karupati again. Arey, where has the torch gone? Hey, look! What's that? What? Has the fuse blown off again? Is it Shaker? Someone come to visit our home? Oh! Careful. Who are you? I am Bijli Dev, hmm? the god of electricity. Never heard of you, man. But why are you here? I am here because I sense some trouble. Electrical trouble. To begin with, I can see that the electric wires in your home are of non-ISI standards and of very poor quality. They are made of recycled copper with higher electrical resistance, that is low current carrying capacity. These cables are also made of recycled PVC which catches fire quickly since it has a low ignition temperature. But, but we were not aware of this at all. But why didn't you check the wires? Now who knows what goes behind the walls? That is not the case now. Hmm. Let's call the builder. Where am I? Um, in front of Bijli Dev, the electricity god. Actually, it's not your fault. This home's safety is our responsibility too. I know, but... But I was just controlling cost. It's always better and safe to spend a little bit more in the beginning. Now you'll have to dig up the whole wall and redo the whole wiring. And that will cost more. Your wiring should be multi-stranded for higher flexibility and should be made up of electrolytic copper of at least 1.5 mm cross-sectional area. Hmm, no wonder it did not withstand high loads. Light electric loads less than 250 watts such as lamps, tubes, radio and sophisticated equipment such as computers, safety and protection equipment like alarms, etc. will need 1.5 square mm cross-sectional area copper wire. Medium electric loads between 250 watts to 1000 watts such as washing machines, refrigerators, iron, etc. need 2.5 square mm cross-sectional area copper wire. Heavy electric loads between 1000 watts to 3000 watts such as geysers, air conditioners, etc. and also sub-distribution boards need 4 square mm cross-sectional area copper wire. In case of concealed wiring, heat does not get dissipated easily. Therefore, the cables need to be derated. Derated? What's that? Derating means that the loading or current carrying capacity of the conductor should be considered lower than its actual value in free air. Or, alternatively, a higher conductor size should be used. This is necessary so that the temperature of the conductor does not exceed 70 degrees centigrade. Otherwise, the PVC insulation may start deteriorating. But be cautious. Avoid using obsolete British standards such as 1x18, 3x20, etc. or you will get cheated by a retailer. ISI recommends the use of the metric system only as all its specifications are in the metric system. Ensuring the appropriate size of wires will reduce your electricity bills greatly and also make your home safer. And remember, never use aluminium wires. Copper wires are of better quality and cheaper in the long run than aluminium wires. Always use copper wires. Oh, oh my god! There's no earthing here! Who's responsible for this? Oh, it's busy there. Imagine one of you getting a shock. We'll do the thing immediately, Odeyan. Hmm, but beware, Savdhan. The earth wire should be bare and solid, of one ohm resistance and made of annealed copper. And only copper plates to be used for earthing. GI cast iron plates will corrode after some years and my dear ones may get an electric shock. Insist on consistency of color codes while getting the wiring done. Green wire for earthing, black for neutral, yellow, red or blue for the phase wire. Any mix-up can create a disaster. As professionals, you should urge and prevail upon your customers to use miniature circuit breakers for protection against short circuits and overloads. Residual current operated circuit breakers or earth leakage circuit breakers should be used for shock protection. They offer protection by opening the circuit within 40 milliseconds when any current leakage is detected in the protected circuit or the equipment. Otherwise, a passage of current through a human body could lead to loss of coordination between the brain and the muscles. What have you made out of my blessings? One single plug point bearing so much load? Didn't you plan the circuitry design of this house with the architect? Did someone call me? Um. 
This won't do. There could have been a short circuit here. I remember this house. They could never decide what they wanted. This is your mistake. You should have asked for different plug points at various places in the house. But I never knew this could lead to short circuits. You could have incurred the wrath of Agni God. Imagine one small mistake and the whole house could have been on fire. As the number of gadgets in your home increase, you definitely need more plug points to support them. That's why a well-planned distribution scheme and circuitry design in the initial stages of planning your home are extremely important. Heavy loads in separate circuits, each protected by an MCB, are crucial. And a master switch to switch off different appliances while leaving home will work out to be very convenient and safe for your family. One more important point. In homes such as yours, where power shortages are frequent, it's better to arrange for a standby power supply with concealed wiring planned in advance. This is especially useful during exams so that your studies are not disrupted during those important days. Thank you Bijili Dev for opening our eyes. Remember, electricity can take away a lot more than it gives you if you don't treat it well. Always use ISI marked pure copper wires with the right cross-sectional area. Derating of wires is important for your safety. Use one size up for safety and energy efficiency. Ensure safe copper plate earthing and the use of miniature circuit breakers and earth leakage circuit breakers for fire and shock protection. Make sure you have adequate plug points and a well-designed circuitry in your home. This will not only make your home a safe place, but also reduce your electricity bills to a great extent. I think there's a short circuit across the road. I better leave fast. Bye kids. Wow! <laughs> I hope he doesn't have to. But I hope Shaker Saman comes now. Yeah. This public service message brought to you by the International Copper Promotion Council India.